Hello, welcome to Free Will Tarot 1111, and you've stepped into the portal. And this reading is for Aquarius. Thank you for coming to my channel, Aquarians. Um, this is a new channel, so I just started it. And um, you're my uh, first Aquarius reading, all right? So I'm going to get into it. I do a mix of oracles and tarot. Now, every reading is general. So this is new for me. I'm used to doing personal readings. But I don't do personal readings. I'm just doing the uh, YouTube. <laughs> See how it works. So um, this is real tarot. Now, I'm starting off with the... Um, Laws of the Universe Oracle Deck, and then um, we're going to continue into your reading. And uh, I just want to say happy birthday, Aquarius. We're getting into a big time for you. It's the dawn of Aquarians. So let's see what the laws of the universe says. What do they want you to know, Aquarian? What do they want you to know? Yep. Ah. Okay, so these laws, you can go into more deeper, um, you know, reading, uh, I mean, um, look up, look it up, but um, I'm just going to give the shorter version just to keep the video short, okay? And this is the law of forgiveness. Release all judgments and set yourself free, Aquarius. It's time to let go. Okay, it's time to let go and forgive whatever's already happened has happened. Now it's time to free yourself, shed, and allow yourself to move forward. This is the law of cause and effect. Change your belief, change your life. Wow, now we're getting deep. We're getting deep now. Whatever you were believing before, whatever it may have been, it's time to just let it go. I feel like you can actually change your life at this time. Change your whole perspective about everything. And understand that you are in a new you. A new you. You just need to release. What you put out into the world comes back. So be careful about what you're manifesting. Be careful about what you are um, putting, you know, the energy that you put out into the world at this time. It's very important. We're in Aquarius time. So you have the power now to set yourself free. Keep going. Reunion, soul tie. Okay. I'm picking up that maybe something happened in a relationship. Someone that you was connected to. And I don't really do love readings. <laughs> you know, I really don't. But it's showing here. I feel like there's a lot of healing that can happen right now. Mending. Someone who you um, really have a connection with. Did I show the card? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right. You may be reconnecting with someone. It gives uh, lack and doubt. Mm. Okay, this is where you can change your beliefs. You don't have to have doubt. Whatever you were believing, it's time to um, shift it. Shift that energy. And we're going to shift energies right now. <laughs> All right. Definitely a lot of forgiving. But this is a good reading. This is for those who are struggling. Um, from what I'm seeing so far, struggling, trying to move forward past a bad type of relationship. It doesn't have to always be romantic. It can be anytime. It can be friends, um, family, business, 
You know what I mean? And it feels like here, um, it's definitely time to either mend that that um, partnership or relationship, but there is a, a holding on to the past a little bit. Okay, and creating doubt. Right. See with your heart. The time is now to hear the message. And this is number two. See with your heart. Hmm. Okay, someone may reach out to you. So don't be too harsh on them. You know, hear them out. Hear them out. Or maybe you will hear out somebody. Okay? Because this is definitely a, an opportunity to um, fix something, resolve something. I'm picking up. Oh, number 22 now. So we have two, two, two. Time to do it differently. Go beyond what you have done before. Change your belief system. Change whatever it is that's been holding you back, creating this lack and this um, drain in your energy. It's time to break free from that. It's time to look and see through your heart. We have angel numbers 222. I will be pulling angel numbers. So if you want to get the comprehensive meaning to that, um, to that number, um, I'll pull it from the deck that I have here. But let's get into the taro now and see where we're going with this. Definitely a time where your perspective is changing. Okay. Or should be shifting at this time, Aquarius. Show me. Four of Wands. All right. Well, you're coming to a milestone with something. You're coming to a completion. This is also the 11-11 card. Um, you're stepping through this portal for sure. I feel like you can mend something. I just keep feeling like, like especially here with these two, with these people on the other side waiting for you, greeting you. You know, come on over. We're all having a good time here. You've completed this. You've come to a milestone, basically. It's not a complete completion. It's a milestone. Okay. And that's what's needed. One step forward. And you're almost there. Look at this. Eight of Wands. Moving fast. There's going to be a lot of messages coming your way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The time is now. Hmm. There's going to be a lot of messages coming with you. A movement. Um, it's time to move. Move forward. Move on your action. Move on your passions. Okay. One more. Oh. Well, we have the four uh, pentacles reversed. There are meanings for reversals. And I'm going to tell you that this meaning is saying, well, it generally can be a very um, holding on tightly to your coins. This is um, the card that I always call uh, mind on your money, money on your mind, or money on your mind, mind on your money. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, right? Thinking very much about your money, holding on to your money or material things. But when it's reversed, you let go, you release. You say, oh, no, I'm not holding on to this anymore. I'm ready to move. 
time you have to, in order to move on, you have to release and free yourself and forgive. It's just there it is. So you have to do that in this energy. Whatever you've done, the same old, same old, same old, it's time to release it and try something different, a different way. All right? I'm going to clarify um, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles reversed. Six of Wands. Beautiful. You releasing frees you. This is another, the Six of Wands is another milestone. Like, man, I got through that. Look at all these wands. There's so much fire in this energy. I always read synchronicities in my cards. That's a two, two, two. We have all, you know, I mean, we do have the pentacles here, but basically we have wands. That's the majority. There's a victory coming. When you release, you're going to feel lighter. You know, people are going to see you like that. They're going to see that. Oh, you just, you seem like you're not as intense as you've been in 2023 about whatever situation that that created that um, energy all right I want to see what the 222 I usually um, <clears throat> do my old shuffling there but this time I actually want to find the number. So let's see here. Two, two, two is, sorry, I prefer to do it this way. Here it is. All right. Two, two, two is about alignment, connections, friendships, romance. Hmm. Yeah, there is some sort of romance about this energy for sure. Relationships, family ties, balance, life choices, compromise, com um, trust, and commitment. Wow. All right. How do you move forward towards your life's true calling? Do what makes you happy. Your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. Follow your interests. Following these routes will help you discover your life's purpose. Hmm. Once again, it's just it's a it's an energy of moving forward, aligning your aligning yourself with your purpose. And moving forward into, into what you want to do. What makes you happy. And as I was saying before. You are going to put that energy out to others. With the Six of Wands energy. It's going to be quite a victory. Will people look up to you? Alright Aquarius. So happy birthday. Subscribe. Like. Share. Um, mostly subscribe. I need subscribers. <laughs> I just started. so, um, But yeah. Um, so I hope you like this reading. I'm keeping them short. And, um, you know, this is a beautiful reading. This is just a reading for someone to let go and release at this time and forgive with no judgment, no animosity, and, you know, not carrying over old beliefs into a new life, a new cycle that I feel that you're moving towards. You're almost, you're done with this. You're, you're close to, you're not done, done, but you're get to the milestone. All right. So may light always follow you.